Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free Windows tweaking, debloating, and management app you could use. So it's a nice app that you can run a bunch of tools all from the same place. So to use it, you just have to go to this GitHub site here. And it's called ITT. That's the name of the app. Install Tweaks Tool. So you just have to scroll down here and then copy one of these PowerShell commands here. And then open PowerShell itself. Right click, paste it in, say yes to the UAC prompt. So it'll open up a PowerShell window here. Then it will give you this tip screen at the start if you want to check that out for some information. So it has some shortcuts how to navigate through the app if you want to deal with keyboard shortcuts. Okay, so it's broken down into apps here. So if you want to install some apps, there are a bunch of them here. You just click on whatever one you want, then click on install. So let's try it out with Firefox, for example. So you can see it's downloading it and it's going to start the installation. So it's going to use Chocolatey to install it. So it's got, so it has to install Chocolatey to do so. Okay, so we got a notification that it was installed successfully. All right, now we have our icon right there. Okay, so let's scroll down the list and see what other options are available here. So a lot of apps here you could install. All right, so you get the idea there. And then what you could also do too, at the preferences here, you could save a selected app. So let's say we want to save this one for later. Click on Save Selected Apps. It'll save it as a JSON file. And then if you open it with Notepad, for example, you can see it's pretty simple there, just telling you what it's going to do. And then what you could do later is come back here, restore selected apps, and then browse to it. And then you could click on Install. Okay, so let's go over to the tweaks now. So here you could run a bunch of uh, Windows tools like a system file checker, disk cleanup, restore all windows, Set of auto login, disable ads, disable suggestions on start menu, clean the taskbar, uh, remove some bloatware. So let's uh, check this one. We'll come back to it once we finish the list here. Activate the old Windows photo viewer. Restore classic context menu on Windows. Let's try that one too. Remove Copilot. Even have something for the upcoming recall snapshots for the Copilot PCs. Disable privacy settings, and so on. Okay, so let's apply that and see what happens. So we're going to remove these apps here, and then we have the uh, Windows 11 context menu. So let's say yes to that. So you can see what it's doing here, removing all these specific apps. So while this is running, I will say make sure you do a system restore point and backup before you use stuff like this, just in case something blows up.
So you can see Cortana was not installed, so I can't remove that. All right, looks like it's restarting Windows Explorer. Okay, some tweaks require restarting. Okay, so let's do a quick restart and see what happened there. But before we do that, we have the old-fashioned context menu. So I'm going to close this out here. Then I'm going to reboot and be right back. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So we still have plenty of the Microsoft apps, maybe not as many, so I didn't really make a note of what we had. So if you want to try that out, you'll have to see for yourself. So let's open it up again, and then we'll uh, see what it says for what apps it removed. And if you don't want to do this every time, I'm going to show you some way to get around that. Okay, so here's what it says it removed here. All right, let's do a search for some of these here. Nope, didn't remove that one. Same with that, so not sure why that didn't work, but you could try it on your computer and see if you have better luck. Okay, so now let's just go to the settings menu real quick here. Okay, for the settings here, um, this could be a little iffy too. Like for example, show file extensions is on. So if we turn it off, it doesn't seem to change it. A reboot might make a difference. For example, turning on dark mode worked instantly. But there's only a few of these here. All right, then up at the top here, we have some management options. If you want to go right to power options, for example, device manager services, apps and features. You know, these are the older control panel versions here. Then we have some preferences, create a restore point, go to your portable downloads folder, save selected apps and restore selected apps, which we saw. Change your theme. It plays music in the background by default here. Change your language. And this is the thing I was talking about before. So create a desktop shortcut. Right there. So now if we close it. We don't have to go find that PowerShell command to open it again. And then we have some third-party tools here. These first two will take you to the GitHub site if you want to download some activation scripts or if you want to download the Windows or Office ISO file. There are a few browser extensions you could install. And then if you want to go to the Sortem or Major Geek site, it'll take you there as well. All right, so as you can see, it looks like it has some good features. Uh, you may have better results with it than I do. I just figured just do a quick video on it to show you that it's available. So if you wanted to try it, but I'm going to stress again, just make sure you do your uh, system restore before you start messing with things like that. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could get the command to run in PowerShell and then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.